On the Health Watch tonight, more kids are being unnecessarily exposed to ADHD medications. In a new study published in the journal Pediatrics, researchers looked at poison control data from 2000 to 2014, and they found a 60% increase in the number of young people inappropriately exposed to ADHD drugs. Dr. Malcolm Marshall is here, and doctor, what is the concern with these medications? So we're talking about medications you've probably heard of, Adderall, Ritalin, Concerta, they're actually stimulants. So they can increase heart rate, they can lead to hallucinations and yeah. paranoia in rare cases, it can cause death. And the study found that three quarters of the exposures were in kids 12 and under, most commonly due to dosing errors, but when there was younger kids involved, it was due to improper storage. As, with, as for teens, they found that a lot of the teens were either trying to harm themselves or they were trying to experience the stimulant effects of the medication. So let this just be a reminder to parents who have these medications around to make sure you know what the proper dose is and to keep them out of hands, including teenagers, kids that should not be taking them. Okay, and more U.S. physicians are now recording their medical conversations with patients in the office so that patients can review the notes at home. This is according to the medical journal STAT. Why is this becoming a trend, recording the actual patient? I know, it sounded a little creepy to yeah. me initially, but it turns out more patients are actually asking their doctors to record their conversations okay. on the patient's cell phones because they find, you know, a lot of them are nervous, a, a lot of information might be thrown to them at a yeah. doctor's appointment. And so that way they have a recording of what the doctor is saying that they can take home and sort of refresh their memory. And it's leading to better compliance. They're more likely to follow their doctor's advice. Now, some institutions are actually offering this service to their patients. Some large companies, including Google and Amazon, okay. are actually re researching ways to use artificial intelligence to make it a little easier. Some people are concerned about sort of the cybersecurity yeah. risks and patient privacy. That will need to be worked out, but I think we're going to see a, a trend of this happening. Why not just keep it simple? If the patient wants it, the patient can record it. If not, fine. Why does it have to be on some big server by some conglomerate? Okay, well, I don't know. They're researching it, David. It's not happening yet. Right now, you can use your cell phone. Hey, we're recording all of this. Just so you <laughs> I know, know, exactly, which is very scary to me. Lisa, back to you. And we're going to run that exchange back a couple of times. All right, David, doctor, thank you.